research of CD34 stem cell activation. Stem cells exist in every organ of the human body. When stem cells receive CD34 signals, which are produced by our bodies, they will be activated. Stem cells begin proliferation and differentiation to new cells. New cells will replace old cells and repair aging organs. Our bodies will produce CD34 signals, a kind of growth factor, including SCF active protein, stem cell factor, and GCSF active protein, granulocyte colony stimulating factor. CD34 signals will be sent to the bone marrow via blood flow. Bone marrow is the biggest bank to regenerate stem cells. SCF will activate the proliferation of stem cells in the bone marrow and GCSF will mobilize stem cells into the blood flow. Stem cells in bone marrow include CD34 hematopoietic stem cells, which could differentiate to erythrocyte for making blood, leukocyte for immunity, and platelet for coagulation. Also, bone marrow stem cells include mesenchymal stem cells, MSC, they could be sent to every organ to repair, including the brain, heart, muscle, intestine, and liver. In current biomedical technology, we could use a food-grade yeast being cultured in the clean room to produce large amounts of CD34 signals. Also, we use food-grade microemulsions to package CD34 signals to preserve activities and prevent from gastric acid decomposition. When we take microemulsions orally, they carry CD34 signals to pass through the stomach to prevent gastric acid decomposition. And then, they enter into the small intestine. They will be absorbed by chylus vessels to transport lipid emulsions. Microemulsions are not transported by blood vessels. In the figure, red is arterial blood and blue is venous blood. However, they are transported by lymph vessels, the green one. So, they would not be sent to the liver for metabolism. This is why they are able to retain their high activity. After entering into chylus vessels, they will soon be sent to the lymph system. In this way, they are quickly sent into the bone marrow and then CD34 signals start working to activate stem cell proliferation, including CD34 stem cells and MSC. These stem cells will be released into the blood flow and be transported to every organ for repairing. Of course, this includes brain regeneration. Actually, there are the least amount of stem cells in the brain. This is why healing of the brain is the most difficult. Second is the heart. Both brain and heart need more CD34 signals for repairing. Generally speaking, it takes at least six months to show obvious effects. Stem cell concentration in the blood can represent our healing abilities. We could take a blood sample to test it. Using flow cytometry to count the CD34 stem cells by immunofluorescence staining, it's possible to evaluate the body's healing ability.